Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be doing some Trigolavian hunting in the Golem. It's actually a new fit that I've never shown you guys before. Uh, there is actually a lot more effect than the previous Triglavian hunting fit. So you'll see here in this video how we're just going to annihilate Triglavian so quickly. It's just so good, this fit right here. And this fit was, I'll say it now, it was heavily inspired by Hitless Gaming because he uses this thing called a Stasis Grappler. This is the key here. I put a Stasis Grappler on my Golem because the thing is with the Stasis Grappler, it actually, even though the golem gets a uh, like a bonus to target painters like effectiveness, uh, the grappler actually still is more effective than like having something else like a two target painters for example. It's just how effective this heavy this domination one is. It's so good, and particularly for like the Damovix and the Vedmax, the range they orbit is in a good range for this grappler, so it's actually affected by quite a big margin when we go with this grappler like this target paint is good because it's like you can use it in many different ranges but the grappler it's just so good and i'll prove to you as well here not only that we'll show i'll show you to, to you in a bit how effective it is but uh i'll actually show it to you guys in like like numbers how it actually does have a very good like application compared to like, some other kind of uh, module right there so uh, the, the fit is actually not like this is the travel fit i've got right here so obviously you can see i got some expanded cargo holes and all that kind of stuff the actual fit is this one right here so this is how the fit looks like when i've got all the modules on it right here now uh, it's cap stable that's the main thing i just wanted to make sure i get with this fit because under heavy heavy trigger loving pressure you can have to use your shield booster for a long time uh, especially if you have newts as well it's i think it's a very very important thing to be cap stable have some degree of cap stability at least in these kind of sites and it's with the help of these two true sancha heavy nosferatus that really help us get to this cap stability because without this you can see here it drains in six seconds but uh six minutes but with these two nosferatus we actually are able to uh, get cap stability and the way they use these is on vedmax and i think mainly dracovax you can get some very good nosferatu going on and so you use it on them and like when you get below like 75 percent capacitor you start draining many people say that, oh you can't nude npcs or nosferatu npcs but you can it just you have to have like below 75 percent capacitor something like that and the way we're able to fit these two heavy Nosferatus is because we've got the Dread Garistas torpedo launchers. These are very expensive modules right here. It is a lot more expensive, this fit, than my previous fit. Uh, we're using the Gist X-Type X-Large Shield Booster to go with the fitting and capacitor as well with stability right here. And the reason we're going with the Pith X-Type Shield Boost Amplifier is this, this is just giving us extra shield boosting without any real like downsides. We're not using any more capacitor. We're just getting more shield boosting. So like, this module is really good because it's like, very efficient like for our capacitor like we're getting a lot of shield boosting per capacitor unit by using this as a very very efficient module so i actually swapped this out for a large cab battery and i think that this might actually do quite a bit better because of just how powerful this is because without this 780 with this over 1000 it's like almost like one third of the increase in your shield boosting capabilities just by this one module right here is really good and we're still cap stable and it doesn't seem like newts in general in triglavian waves are that hard so i think we will be able to survive without the two large cap batteries at least in my testing so far it's been going fine so if i go into payfile right here we'll go here and we'll import the fit and i'll show you what i mean by the grappler being so important so if we go and just simulate some we can go with the uh, Kaldari Navy torpedo launchers right here. And if we go in this graphs right here, there's this module or this like uh, window called graphs. And you can simulate a certain target. So I've made a target called Damovic. And then I've also made a target called Liminal Vedmac. And then also a Rasnaborg Vedmac. Now we will remove, I don't think we need this ideal target right here. Now, this is now simulating the these types of npcs and i've manually made this. this is not like a thing that exists in piffa so what i do is to like create these if i go into editors and then target profile editor i can create like a new target profile and then i fill in the details here so you can see here like signature radius is 192 so the speed is 1400 the way i find all this info if i type like rasna borg damavik and if I go into like Evil Online Reference, they say all the info right here. Okay, so we can see the Damovic right here. But this is the Damovic, and this shows like a graph of how much damage we apply. The way the grapplers work 
is that they have like increased effectiveness the closer you are so you see the amount of damage you do up close is very much but then when we get further further away it's big problems but the thing is the damage because they all bit like five kilometers something like that five six kilometers so we're still getting a decent amount of application going on right here and the red max you can see we've got very good application all the way until the grappler starts losing its effect and we're doing a lot of damage and i can show you what happens if we turn off the grappler turn it off look at that the dps goes all the way down look at that the Damovic 200 DPS with the Grappler. Damovic has up close like 900, something like that. And then with our Grappler, 200 DPS. That's like almost four times the amount of DPS. And it's important to be able to take out these Damovics because they can often be ghosting Damovics and they can make you apply even worse. So it's pretty good to be able to take them out because they can further worsen your application. So it's good, important to have some amount of application to the small stuff. And then... I can also show you, like, if I were to use, for example, two target painters, okay? See here, still 300 DPS on the Damovic. But when it comes to the Grappler, then it's, like, much more. And you can see that the good thing about the target paint is we get constant application at the very big range. The thing is, though, uh, these Damovics, you have to also remember that they orbit very, very close. So we're going to, like, take advantage of that because of how effective the Grappler is up close. And we can't use two Grapplers because they're just, they're just you can only fit one on your ship at a time. The point is, you can, these grapplers are really effective. That's why I'm rocking this, and we'll see in the attacks on Triglavian fleets that it's going to be super effective. One thing I'd also like to say is that I've got these hydraulic bay thrusters right here for a particular reason, and that's just in the worst case scenario. Like, I don't really think I need, I don't even need this, but in the worst case scenario, if I'm getting hard uh, ghosted or hard tracking disrupted, then I won't be able to hit the Leshaks with Rage Torpedoes. And it's very important to be able to hit the Leshaks with Rage Torpedoes because the Leshaks do the majority of the DPS. And if I'm not able to hit them or kill them quickly, they all might kill me. So that's why I'm just ha I want to have the range to be able to always hit those Leshaks because they all bear like 45 kilometers. We have a bit of like a borderline um, range with these uh, torpedoes right here. If we go with the Rage Torpedo. You can see 56 kilometer range, 45, and then you add a bit of tracking disruption on it. My range is going to go down to like 48, 45. Maybe even if I didn't have this, it'll go even less. So I just want to have a bit of a margin of range. But again, having good tracking also would help because then you can just take out the small stuff that's tracking disrupting you. So it goes both ways. I want to have the more range though. Okay, so we'll try to find some Triglavian fleets. Right now, at the time of the day, the Edencom guys, the EDI, they don't usually have Triglavian trackers going on finding uh, Triglavians on their website. So we're going to manually have to find them. So we'll go into a very speedy interceptor and try to find them. Interceptor. I finished my exams now in real life. I've had a lot of exams at university, so I've had a, not a whole lot of time to do big projects like Triglavian hunting. But uh, I've actually been gifted by my good friends, <laughs> Threatnaught and Ibad Tijori, some cool ships. One of them was, uh, or two of them were Tech 3 cruisers to do some cool camouflage operations. <laughs> we'll see how we do with that. Some kind of cloaky uh, Tech 3 uh, cruisers go maybe hunt some people or do some sneakily some PvE sites in Nullsec. I think they'll be quite fun. And Tengu is actually particularly why I've got also a Loki okay. and even uh, Draugr for maybe something interesting as well. I really appreciate the gifts because I've never flown a Tengu properly before. Have, being able to fly, uh, I think that'll be pretty fun. It seems like a very like multi-purpose ship, and especially now that you don't lose the SP on destruction, I'm a lot more willing to go around losing uh, Tengu because for me in EVE Online, it's always been the case of the skill points are what you have all the time. I don't like losing the okay. skill points because that feels okay. I lose my ships. I lose my ships right, left, and center. But at the end of the day, I've still got my skill points. I like to be able to keep my progression in some way or, ma or form even though i've maybe learned something from losing that ship so that's a form of progress as well but i like actually seeing some kind of progress in the game being constant and that's why i like that they removed that tech 3 cruiser sp penalty that they used to have like you used to lose skill points it really i didn't like that at all it felt like oh well why will i lose this this is my like biggest progression having skill points and just losing it like that it didn't feel good even though it wasn't a lot of skill points because those skills that you lose they're like very low or like fast training skills but still i never liked the idea of losing skill points for me personally i think that there's something that should be remaining like constant always be a progression you've got going on right there Uh, some people like the YouTuber Eagle Flyer Gaming, he's been using Tengu's also for these Triglavian hunting. And 
I think that it seems pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it just because uh, you need like a really good tank for uh, these sides. That's why I prefer to use these Marauders. But you can definitely do a lot of things with these like Tengu and Tech 3 crews. Very, very all round, uh, all rounders ships. And you can also fit them quite cheap as well. A YouTuber called Zach, he has been making a lot of uh, videos on cheap T3 cruiser fits doing hunting and Nulsic. You can really go do a lot with even the cheap variants of the Tech 3 cruisers because often a lot of people they'll make like Tech 3 cruisers and bling them out super hard because they're usually able to be fit very bling modules and be very powerful with bling modules. But you can also do a lot with pretty like basic fitted ones as well because of how multi purpose they are. Oh, there's a golem right there, so it might be that there's doing Triglavi nothing in here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, look, this is what I mean. On the Edencom website, they don't usually have uh, any like scanned true larvian systems at this time of the day because it's quite early in the day. Lysenirus. I've oh, done true larvian hunting in Lysenirus before, actually. The new golem fit we've got has a bit more tank than the previous one. Uh, just a bit more, not a whole lot, because the Gist X Type X Large Shield Booster that we're using. It has like uh, less shield boosting than a Pithex type. The thing is, though, it's very more cap efficient. Like it, you get a lot more shield boosting for amount of uh, cap it uses, and it's also fitting is pretty nice on it. And then combined with the Pithex type shield boost amplifier that we've got, it makes so that it actually gets a little bit more shield boosting. Not a lot, but a little bit, a little bit more. I've been searching for quite a bit now. Not really had much luck finding any Triglavian fleets, but I do find it quite satisfying to warp with all these it's like warp sound effects. I've turned off a lot of the sound effects, but I turned them recently a little bit higher so I can notice them a bit more. Uh, since the interceptor sounds, the frigate sounds when you warp is pretty satisfying. <laughs> Feels like I'm going with proper speed. Oh, there's a lot of red people here in this system. I wonder what's going on right here. Must be some ganks going on. Oh, we do not want to be here if ganks are going on. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like a good sign. Drive. Yeah, Active. safety. These guys, 100% want to avoid because they love to gank people. You can even check their Z kill. Urlen Sin. Oh, look, there are Triglavians here. Look at that. It just happens to be that there are Triglavians here. But in the system, there are Triglavians are. We've got gankers, <laughs> so unfortunately we'll not be doing it right here. Let's go to this area right here. Turiainas is a pretty nice area because it's a small system. Warp drive active. You know, I noticed that there's a lot of uh, Triglavians that are invading around the Jita region. And I, there's a particular reason because there's a lot of Triglavian systems that are pretty close to the tree, uh, the Jita region. Otherwise, I was looking at the map. There's not a whole lot of systems that are like in different areas of space, like a Mars space, that have Triglavian Active. systems nearby. So that's where potential invasions can be when you've got Triglavian systems nearby. Let's see. Anything here? Doesn't seem like there's anything here, unfortunately. Oof! Yes! We've got Triglavians here in Turianas. This is a perfect system as well for Triglavian hunting because all the planets, they're like really close to each other. So you can just get a good scan from wherever. So this is perfect. Oof, this is perfect. Now, the thing is now that the downtime is in not so whole long time, well, 45 minutes. So we will be able to get a lot of Triglavi hunting done in that time. But um, I don't know. I don't think I think they might not respawn. It's just that they like take it or they respawn, but they still will spawn in the system after downtime. We'll see. I'm also going to put a different ship in my uh, Golem's Frigate Escape Bay because I have a uh, Dramule right now. It's a very good transport ship because it's very fast warping, good align time. But I'm thinking of instead putting an Astero because an Astero is good because you can scan down the wormhole very quickly. And it's also pretty fast align time. Only thing is the warp speed is not buffed like the Dramule, but it's not the whole world. I think the scanning is going to be more important because the little Frigate in the Frigate Escape Bay of the Golem, I use it more for um, the scanning side of... Triglavian hunting rather than the actual uh, the actual transport stuff itself. I could have actually had a scanner on my uh, malediction right here. That would have been a better idea because I could just scan it already, but still, sorry. I'm so glad 
The system of Turianus is the exact one that okay. had Triglavins, uh, Triglavin hunting or Triglavins in. It's just such a good system because you can always see. It's not like... Because sometimes systems, they can be very big. And you can't scan the whole system at once. You have to like travel to different planets to scan. They're, oh yeah, they're over there. But in Turianus, because every, all the planets, they're so close together. All you do is just one blink of the D-scan and you see where Triglavins are. That's what it is very makes everything go so much smoother because it does take a bit of time to actually find the trigger love. I mean, it's not the quickest business and especially something that i liked as well is that we saw that there are very few players there so it's going to be a little competition as well because it can be a bit annoying when there's a bit of competition going on we will obviously have to watch out for gankers because that will make uh, <laughs> us the bit the only target there is like oh yes we have to go for him and it's not good for being known to be flying expensive ships either the new golem we're rocking it is very expensive i'm going to goli right here i'm going to the frigate escape bit switch this out do not need this we're gonna instead buy an astero 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 super scanner for golem yeah this one right here this is a bit expensive well, it's actually quite expensive <laughs> more than i thought but I think it'll be worth it. Super scanner for gold. Just type super scanner. It's a good name. Super scanner! Because it's got very good scanning uh, modules going on. Okay, we'll put this in a frigate escape bay. Like that. I just want to check that we've got everything here. Yeah, all the equipment is in right here. Oh, the thing is that it's got like all these scanning modules. And then plus it's got the... Gravity capacitor as well. And we've got some happy spatials as well to boost the warp speed in case you want to transport stuff. So we're travel fit right here. This means that we've got the cloaking device and the MWD, so it's harder for us to get ganked. Undock, and we're going to go to Turianus. You can notice that the warp sound, I don't know if you can hear, but it's a bit different when you're in a bigger ship. That's really cool. All the Jeter players over there. I can't wait to just destroy these Triglavians because we've got the good grappler. This grappler, man, you'll see how good this grappler is. It's just such a great module. It is expensive, though. It costs like 300 million, something like that. A domination one. The Tech 2 one doesn't, but the domination one is quite a bit better, I think. It will make such a big difference in our application. We destroy stuff so fast that... This DPS, quote-unquote DPS set I've got here with the Warrior 2s, it doesn't even feel worth it because like, they die so quickly so it doesn't feel worth it. And then plus the time to micromanage these in case they get shot, it just feels better to just focus on your missiles instead of these for the extra DPS because you anyway destroy uh, down with like one, two shots. Okay, so now we're in perimeter. We're going to go here, use the cloaking device and use a one MWD cycle to do a bit of MWD cloak trick. Because, you know, we're in an expensive ship, we need to be a little bit careful. We need to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Uncloak and whoop. Whoop, we're out. Active. Need to be extra careful for these kind of things in high populated systems like Pyramid. There's not actually a lot of players though. Only 180. I thought there usually is a bit more in Perimeter. Could be the time of the day as well. Just, I mean, I'm on a little bit of a break right now. That's why I'm able to play this time of the day. Well, it's a bit early for me in the day, is what I'm trying to say. Let's see now. Align. Cloak. And then one cycle. Now I cloaked up again. From the cloak from the gate. Or well, after the cloak from the gate. Okay, jump now. Let's go. The thing that's so good about the dual like heavy Nosferatu is because now I've got a cloak, but I'll put another heavy, a heavy Nosferatu there. Is they freeze instead of like two medium Nosferatu and one heavy one, the two heavy ones is really good because it allows us to be cap stable and able to fit a salvage two right here, which is actually very useful when you're in the middle of, uh, in the middle of like a Triglavin hunting session. Okay, and that's also why we've got the Dread Garistas torpedo launchers. They do more DPS, but they also allow us to fit. The modules required to be able to have the dual heavy Nosferatus. I wonder if there's any... Look, the wormhole's been done. We can check a D-scan to see here what kind of ships we've got because it can maybe tell us if there are other people here doing the same thing we're doing. Could give us an indication if the wormhole is already completed. Hmm, restock? I have bookmark for restock station, but there's no station here. Must, someone must have blown up the citadel. Well, 
that's good that I didn't have a lot of stuff in there hopefully I'll make a proper Hope station drive. save this Active. location as a restock and save our stuff there in the future look at that fleet right there this is a perfect fleet what trigger I've been hunting oh that fleet looks so good so yummy let's destroy that fleet right there oh my gosh that fleet is just going to be eaten alive by a golem you're gonna see right here guys. you're gonna see requested. Hopefully we don't get popped is all I'm saying as well. Because I, I really want to find Dropping one of these request. fat fleets like these so that it can challenge our tank properly. Alright guys, now this is where this is where it goes down. This is where it goes down. This is where it goes down. Because it's not going to... This is going to be a bloodbath right here. Either I get popped or... Or we're going to get some dank frags on the Triglavians. Okay, we'll just put the modules we don't need here. So we don't need the these... Um, don't need the expanded cargo holds. We've got the full fit right here. Triple ballistic control systems. Large cam battery. Dual Nosferatis. Recap stable. With the rage torpedoes, we have the 3k DPS. Look at this. There we go. Okay, we're going to go right out here. We're not even going to bother scanning down the wormhole. And we can... Just go out there and destroy these guys. And we're going to use the consume the boosters preemptively. Oof. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay. Hopefully this goes good. Hard shell. Where are these guys? They are somewhere in, I think, near like some planet or something. So they must be like at the zero on this planet right here. So we'll Hard walk drive. to this planet. Active. We're going to sort by type, that's quite important because then you can sort of get an idea of the, like, uh, you get a little bit of a grouping of the different types of ships. Yep, look, we're warping directly here, it seems like we're warping it. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. We're going to want to take out the ghosters, and if we've got a lot of starvers, we wouldn't do that as well. Okay, drop the mobile tractor unit. Drop the mobile tractor unit, mobile depot. And get the Bastion module on. Get the Drekavac locked up so that we can go for the Nosferatus. Put this right here. Dual Nosferatus on this guy. And we're going to try taking out some of these Vedmax because a lot of DPS comes from these guys. Okay, let's see now. We've got some Ghosters. Okay. See that? We're destroying these guys very quickly. And we'll also take out these... Uh, Leshaks because they do a, a lot of damage as well. Destroy them. It'll prefer, preferably be the rage torpedoes on these guys, but we've not got that uh, luxury now. It's quite a high stress situation right here. Take out this Ghoster. All cruisers because they do more damage. Take out basically the thing is here. We just want to maximize the amount of DPS we remove off the grid right here. Mm hmm. This renewing guy also probably would be a good idea to take out. And we'll see here. Look how quickly we're going to destroy these Damovics because of our grappler. Like, look at that pops right there. There we go. Skilling spree. Mm hmm. It doesn't seem like they're respawning, though. So maybe it's a little bit like <laughs> not as. Uh, not as intense as I thought. Because if they're going to respawn in, well, maybe they just need a bit more aggro on them to get them to respawn. Okay, shoot these guys right here. This is Brodiva. There doesn't seem to be any respawning, unfortunately. That's a bit lame. I would have thought they would respawn. <laughs> Famous last words before they actually do respawn. Let's take out this Vedmac. You see we get the Nosferatu from this guy. Got us a few Giga Jewels right there when our capacitor goes below 75%. Because I think how it works with the Nosferatus is that you can't drain a capacitor that's lower than your own. Unless you're the Blood Raider ships. And I'm guessing that these guys have their capacity at 75%. So that's when we go to when we go to the 75% capacitor mark, that's when we're able to actually take the lock all this small crap up right here. Yeah, this this, this grappler's not doing anything on that. Oh, that guy's too too far away. I'm gonna take all the small crap here that's very close. These 30 kilometer guys is gonna take quite a bit of time. I'm gonna try to take out the ones that are close. This is quite interesting because if they do respawn here, this could be an initial fleet. 
because they have it sometimes in the Triglavian system. They've got those, like initial fleets that you have to destroy the Triglavian and Wormhole system. And then that's when you're able to get the respawns going. So it could be that this is initial fleet. So imagine how they would look like if they were to be a respawning fleet. Because when you destroy the Wormhole fleet and the initial fleets, then that's when they start to respawn. That's when stuff gets spicy. Because if it's going to be this size of respawning fleet, oof, oof, it's going to be amazing. A module has run out of two signatures. It could be that there's two wormholes. Because if there's two wormholes, I've heard they spawn more Triglavins as well. Triglavin wormholes, that is. Pop these guys right here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they want to respawn. So instead, we're going to lock up some Rex and start salvaging in the meantime. Because it seems like that's the only thing we can really do. It's not going to be too much stress right here. Go with the salvager. Yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic right there. I thought that we were going to get some big spawns going on, but unfortunately, it's not the case. We'll just see here what happens when we get to the end of this. Will it be more spawns? They all seem to be very far away now. Make sure our salvager is always working to give us the good, um, give us the good salvage, the good isk. Yeah, look, the application is really bad without that grappler. It's so good, that grappler. It makes such a big difference. There wasn't much DPS as well tested because they, half of them are not even shooting. A bit unfortunate. Oh, come on. I wanted this to be a really big battle. That's not what we're getting right here. But you saw at least that the stuff that was close went down fast because of how good that the grapplers and i'm just locking up everything that's within close not the long wrecks or the ones that are very far away because it's gonna obviously take time until i can salvage them they have to be really close for us to be able to salvage see i'm keeping that drekovac alive because i'm able to use him for nosferatus and i'm not using like an anchor okay he's going to keep me in place but i don't plan on running from this either uh, if if stuff is going bad i'm probably not going to be able to warp out anyway so uh, the scrambler Dr the drakovac is not that bad if it was like a starving or especially ghosting then i would destroy it. but anchoring is not too bad for me and we can switch over to rage after this guy take out those leshaks and do it fast And there we go, we've got the Drekovac left for last. Hmm. I wonder where these other guys are. Let's see where this other fleet is. Yeah, they have the sun right there, okay. Go stop with the Bastion, get the salvage drones out. And to be honest, I don't even need this mobile uh, depot, because I was thinking this is good to three fit to salvage fit, but everything is already pretty much in range, so I'm not going to even bother with it. Right now I'm using the drones to salvage the wrecks that are far away because they can move, and I'm using my salvage to salvage everything that's in close range because you know, salvage only works within six kilometers. Sort of save a bit of time that way, so my mobile track unit doesn't have to track in everything that doesn't have a loot. When the ones with loot uh, get salvaged, then they'll drop a container, but like some of them don't have any loot, and it's just to save time for the tractor. Oh, we got incoming Triglavians. Incoming Triglavians. Incoming Triglavians who just warped in on us. Oh, it must have been that one at the sun. It was here. Okay, let's get to work. Yeah, it was a good idea to recall those, uh, those uh, salvage drones because they would have got popped fast by my um, or by these Triglavians. Okay, actually, no, we do not want to take this guy out because he's for Nosferatu. Shield booster. And take out the big stuff. Seems like it's just this fleet left, so it must be these are initial fleets. And then uh, we'll take out the wormhole fleet, maybe. Where is it? Oh, it doesn't seem like there's any wormhole fleet though. Maybe a wormhole fleet has already been taken out or something. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see after this fleet. Maybe it might respawn. 
Build out a navy for like cruisers and smaller. I, I think Rage is slightly better on the uh, battle cruisers, but only slightly. Definitely on the cruisers and lower though, Kaldari Navy is better because there's more application going on. Nice two shot right here. Okay, seems like there's more NPCs on the scan. You see there's like some Razna Borgs. Oh, we got some respawns. We got some respawns. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Get the respawns going on. Okay, so this is now actually business right here. The Triglavians mean business. We've got some respawns going on. Get the salvage operation on the way. Unfortunately, that massive one did not respawn. That would have been nice. These wrecks here in close. Got to be a bit of managing, micromanaging stuff. This grappler just can annihilate this dama right here. Can unlock this one right here. Unlock, just lock everything that's in very close proximity. So just not to waste any time with the or like waste our targets because we've also got a limited amount of targets as well. Oof, we got some respawns. Yes, we got respawns. Great. I wonder if we'll be able to finish this before downtime because there's 18 minutes left of downtime. But these fleets, this one right here that's respawning doesn't look that big. Like if the fleet initially is quite small, then the respawns will also be pretty small as well. It's like you can think of it as just the way the size of the fleet usually determines how big all the spawns are going to be. That's at least based on my experience how it usually is. I don't forget to salvage, don't forget to salvage. Important to salvage. <laughs> and save time afterwards. Hmm, it seems like we've got more Triglavians in the scan. Yep, we've got more Triglavians incoming. <laughs> seems like our capacitor is holding up just fine. And we're salvaging away. A has run Pretty out smooth charges. experience. With this grappler it just makes all these small stuff just go down so quickly that usually would take a long time otherwise without the grappler the torpedoes just don't have that good application naturally that's one good thing about the Vaga is that it's got like auto cannons you can have pretty good application up close only problem is you're not going to have the good range for the for the layer shacks who are orbiting quite far away as you can see there that guy is going to 40 kilometers away lock up more wrecks Wonder how much is we're gonna get from all these fleets we've got right here. Oh, we've got more reinforcements. Triglavians, they need help. They need help. The golem is too strong. Yeah, we we knocked them out pretty fast with the grappler. Pretty damn fast. Look at that. Like two shotting these guys. Or oh, three shot this guy. Before with my old fit, I had the Pithex type X large shield booster. And I wasn't as cap stable as this one. So I had to like pulse my booster a lot. But here I can sort of leave it running. I preferably don't want to leave it running. The shield booster. Just to have a bit of buffer of capacity in case I were to ever need it in an emergency situation. But it just feels a lot better that I'm able to run it constantly. It's a lot more relaxed. Because it has happened sometimes. That for a few seconds I was chatting to someone. In chat for example. Uh, like a private message or, or whatever. And then I forget to use my shield booster, and then suddenly just poof, my shield's at 10%. Like, oh no, I need to be very vigilant pressing it if I'm not paying attention. But here I can sort of leave it on. Don't have to worry about my capacitor running out fully. Even though we do get some starvers here and there, like this guy right here, the Rasdenbuk starving Drakovac, but it's not the whole world. And we need to salvage, important to salvage. I'm focusing too much on getting the target management of these Triglavians that I'm forgetting about salvage, the most important thing of all. Look how many wrecks are accumulating right here. Got some more, more bigger waves now. I've got, got some ghosts on the grid. Need to take this guy out. And we're getting a big spawn here. Fat spawn. Look at that. <laughs> Look how big spawn we got right here. We'll take off the grapple of this Lisha because it does not need to be on here. I'm going to go for this ghoster. There we go. Take him out. And we'll keep the salvage operation on the way as much as we can without sacrificing time. We'll take out the big stuff. DPS is quite important after the ghosters. Or when I say DPS, I mean like incoming DPS. I'm going to try to get a reload on the Nova Rage. Did we get Nova Rage? No, we didn't get it. Sometimes you can get like a cheaty reload. 
on the last uh, cycle. But I didn't manage to get the ear. Oh no, we do not want to shoot the Drekovac though. We need to keep the Drekovac alive for our cap. That's one thing that's quite annoying when other people are here. I mean, when other people are here, they take the loot because, you know, they're going to kill Triglavians. They're going to get rights to the loot. But that isn't the whole day for me. The main thing that annoys me when other people are here is that they destroy the Drekovac. It's like, no, I want to have the Drekovac for my Nos. Leave it alive. And that's happened many times and people have not understood when I've said in chat. What, using Nos in PvE? <laughs> that's why I think it's a lot better to rely on your inherent capacitor, but you've got other priorities with the... Like the different rigs you've got and all the limited amount of slots so that otherwise I'd want to have really wanted to have two cam batteries on this. It'd be a lot better. Seems like a salvaging is taking quite a long time with that one over there. No, now it's done. Just when I say it. <laughs> Respawns. <laughs> one shot that guy over there. There's a nice amount of spawns right here because it's not too big, but we keep getting lots of these reinforcements, which is always nice to see. And I want to just make sure we clear this before downtime because I wouldn't want to waste all my wrecks, you know. Oh, that's actually something I didn't consider. I think the wrecks, they despawn at downtime. That'll be very annoying if that happens. Oh no, I do not want that to happen. We'll waste all our wrecks and make sure we salvage as much as we can. There's our target painter. Drekovac, oh they keep respawning, we need to get the good salvage, <laughs> we need to get the salvage, no. Stop respawning Triglavians, I need to be able to salvage your dead comrades. Dead comrades need to be eaten by my golem. Someone who's orange in, in local, I hope that's not someone who wants to cause trouble. <laughs> I think it's a war target. Oh, uh, like a, a in a, a war with our alliance, but I'm not able to be war declared because my corp is not a war declarable corp. Pop this guy right here. Come on, just take these guys out fast. Get the salvage drones on the way. <sighs> more spawns, more spawns, more spawns. Make sure I salvage. These guys never end. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Look how many wrecks there are. It's all going to go to waste now that downtime is occurring. It makes me a bit sad. The main thing, though, is just to be able to see that we are able to do this properly. 59 kilometers. Because that ghosting really does a big difference in your range. Please be the last spawn. Please be the last spawn. We're going to actually let's put down our mobile depot. We could potentially fit to uh, refit to uh, the salvage fit. If we go with that. There with tractor beams and everything. I've got tractor beams in my cargo. See here, I've got this and this tractor beams. So we could use that. A race against the clock is what this is. But I think they've stopped spawning now because they're not getting any reinforcements now. Only three left. Hopefully now this is the end. I stop this bastion cycle preemptively. Get the salvages going on. Oof, 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 oof. Now we're gonna have to go fast. Salvage this stuff fast. Hopefully no respawn in here. Seven minutes to salvage all this. I have to wait until this one time has gone to be able to refit ourselves. We can sort by distance, just look at everything that's in range so that we can know what we can salvage like quickest because the stuff that's further away is going to take longer. Okay, now I can refit to salvage fit. And we'll try to tractor in all these big wrecks because that's the most important thing. The big wrecks, the, the true large ones with the loot. We don't lose out on that loot. Come on, salvage operation. Salvagey salvage. Let's use this other salvage that we've got right here. We're getting there. We're getting there. You know, there are more trigger in the scan, but they don't seem to be messing with us here. 
find it hard to talk because of how concentrated I am on the salvaging. <laughs> okay, we're getting towards the end now. I think we'll be making it just in time. I'm glad we were able to do it. There's three minutes left of all these wrecks, but there's not so many now. Yes, we're coming towards the end. Like only four wrecks left. Two minutes left. I wonder how much isk we got. It must have been quite a bit of isk because there's a lot of wrecks there. 39 seconds. That's cutting it quite close. Okay, there we go. Managed to salvage everything. So, you know, how much isk have we got here? 66 million in the... In the... Oh, well, tractor unit. We can dump uh, the, like, heavy... We can actually leave it in here because it'll save it in the mobile track tune at least after downtime. We can reorganize our stuff later. That was a bit of triglavian hunting. <laughs> a lot of isk right there. I was glad to see that we could get so much isk and find so many triglavians and destroy them so quickly with the grappler. We can definitely do more of this because I find it a lot more satisfying to use the golem with the grappler. Like, all this small stuff is not so slow anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.